Good morning. Please remain standing as we sing our campus oli, Mele Hono Uli Uli, led by Dr. Manulani Aluli Meyer, Vela Ahilani Vahilani, Hoku Kwan, Kainoa Nahulu, and other campus members. The words for this mele can be found in your program and we encourage you to join in. We also want to take this opportunity to acknowledge our American Sign Language interpreters, Inga Park Okuna and Becky Ho'opi'i. Thank you. Eo pale hua kua hivi la pa. Eo pale hua kua hivi la. Ke kua hivi no ho i kalani. Ho ka pole kapula. Kapu i no ho i kaina. Oka papa puhi kaloko la, kaloko ino hoi kai. Oho no uli uli la, he aina aloha o eva. Aloha mai e na pua la, na pua haa he o kaina. Aloha mai e na pua la, na pua haa he o kaina. Aloha. Please be seated. Good morning and welcome to the Spring 2023 Commencement at the University of Hawaii West Oahu, held for the first time at Simplify Arena at the Stan Sheriff Center. We're so pleased and, pleased and privileged to have you here for this momentous occasion. My name is Leila Shimokawa and I will serve as your MC today. Please give a warm welcome to UH West Oahu Executive Director of Strategic Directions, Assessment and Accreditation, Jessica Miranda, who will offer up Ho'oya Aina, our land acknowledgement. On behalf of the University of Hawaii, West Oahu, it is with profound reflection that we offer up this Ho'oya Aina, this land acknowledgement, acknowledging Hawaii as an indigenous space whose original people are today identified as native Hawaiians. The University of Hawaii West Oahu aligns with the University of Hawaii's commitment to foster the well-being of all our students within an indigenous lens through academic and social processes throughout a 10-campus system-wide transformation we call Hawaii Papa Okeao. With much aloha, I, Jessica Miranda, offer up this land acknowledgement to welcome all gathered to this indigenous space where Kuleana guides us to celebrate native Ike, ancestral knowledge. We acknowledge this Aina of Manoa in the Tuahini rain, here in the Ahu Pua'a of Waikiki and the Moku of Kona. Our home campus is in the Ahu Pua'a of Hono Uli Uli in the Moku of Eva, and like Manoa, also on the Moku Puni of Oahu. This is Hawaii Ne. Ano Ai Ke Aloha. Mahalo, Executive Director Miranda. Now it is my pleasure to introduce the University of Hawaii West Oahu Band, who will perform the Star Spangled Banner and Hawaii Pono'i. Soloist and candidate for graduation, Precious Elihio, will be, will be performing for us. 
Precious is graduating this semester with a certificate in music and a BA in social sciences with concentrations in psychology and sociology. Please rise. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the Thank you again to Precious, our UH West Oahu Band and its co-directors, Michael Nakasone and Chad Kame. Director Nakasone was recently honored with the Owl and Gladys Wright Distinguished Legacy Award from the National Band Association. Thank you and congratulations again to Precious and Director Nakasone and our UH West Oahu Band. Thank you so much. Now please give a warm welcome to UH West Oahu Chancellor, Maynette Venom. Velina mai e na haumana, na kumu, na ohana, ame na hoaloha. E ia kākou makapapahana puka kula kupulau o kabaka hiki e lua kaukani i vaka lua kuma kolu. Aloha. Welcome, students, faculty and staff, family and friends to our spring 2023 
University of Hawaii West Oahu graduation ceremony. Mahalo for joining us to celebrate the brilliant achievements of our graduates. I am so very pleased that we can gather together in person in full regalia today because this ceremony reminds us all of the very simple joy of just being together. Mahalo for coming. So before we begin, I would like to recognize our commencement committee, our faculty and staff, students, alumni, and friends who have helped to make this a very special day. Let's send out a deeply grateful mahalo to all of our volunteers, both from UH West Oahu and from here, UH Manoa. Pa'i pa'i lima. Mahalo. You know, it is bittersweet that we are not on our home campus for this very important day. While fond memories beckon us to that space in West Oahu, the truth is that we really needed a bigger place to celebrate, one that would allow us to invite and include all of our family and friends, or as we say in Hawaii, invite our entire extended ohana. And as I can see looking out here today, we've invited everybody who was on the island or could fly in, haven't we? This year, we have also invited those graduates from the COVID years back to spring 2020 who were not able to walk across the stage to join us here today. More than 70 graduates. Hang on. More than 70 graduates are with us here today. I'd like to recognize them. If you would please stand, our graduates from 2020, 2021, and 2022. Let's welcome them. Mahalo for joining us today, and congratulations. So to all of our graduates, on behalf of our UH West Oahu Ohana, I offer my warmest congratulations on your academic success, the culmination of your commitment and your hard work. You have all endured and you have overcome exceptional uncertainties and challenges. You have had to be resourceful, resilient, and relentless during these unprecedented times of change and adversity. You have adapted and grown. And while your university experience might have not been exactly what you had expected, it has undoubtedly enriched you, adding to your tenacity, your passion, and your humanity. Our time here today truly marks a new day for UH West Oahu. Kalahikiola is a phrase that comes to mind for several reasons. We're finally making our way through COVID. Our campus is getting stronger and growing, and we have new leadership that will work together to move us forward in excellence and vibrancy where we can achieve powerful dreams. Speaking of those dreams, a thought I always share at graduation is a saying that we are our ancestors' wildest dreams. I believe that each of you have achieved things that your ancestors would never have imagined. You are your ancestors' wildest dreams. Ho'omaika'i a oko, a imua, e pupu kahi, i holomua, e na po ki'i. Congratulations to you, our graduates. It is time for you to sail forward. Mahalo, Chancellor Benham.
I would now like to invite Vice Chancellor for Administration, David McDonald, to the podium. Good morning. We're pleased to introduce our distinguished guests. As I call your name, please rise and remain standing. I ask that the audience hold your applause until the last person is recognized. U.S. Congressman Ed Case, State Senator Henry Aquino, State Representative Andrew Garrett, State Representative Trish Lachica, Regent Dr. Bill Haining, Vice Pre UH Vice President for Budget Finance and Chief Financial Officer, Calbert Young, Chancellor Maynard Benham, Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs, Jeffrey Moniz, Interim Vice Chancellor for Student Affairs, Lukeilani Kenielo, Director of Strategic Directions, Assessment and Accreditation, Jessica Miranda, our Faculty Senate Chair, Kayalanu Akimini, Business Administration Division Chair, Linda Randall, the Academy for Creative Media Director, Charlotte Hanaoka, <laughs> Education Division Chair, Mary Heller, our Humanities Division Chair, Kealani Cook, Public Administrations Chair, Christina Liu, Math, Natural, Natural and Health Science Division Chair, Esther Widiash, Social Science Chair, Orlando Garcia Santiago, Faculty Marshal, Eli Sukiyama, Faculty Marshal, Catherine Amer, Faculty Marshal, Monique Miranoscu, our Director of Divisional Support, Jan Javanar, Director of the Nueo Center, Robin Tasaka, and our two student speakers, Gabriel Naval Navalta and Anthony Miguel, and finally, our community leaders, who are really important to us as a campus as well, from the UH Manoa Thompson School of Public Health, we've got Interim Dean Tatine Centel, Lieutenant Colonel Jared Melander, who's a professor of military science and our ROTC program, from the Hawaii Department State Department of Education Complex Area Superintendent, Disa Haug. From the Kapolei Chamber of Commerce Executive Director, Karen Polk. And from our neighbor and educational partner from Hawaii Tokai International College, Chancellor Nayato Yoshika. Please applause for all these folks, thank you. We are very grateful for this past support, as well as future partnerships and collaborations with all of you. Now I welcome to the stand, Director of Strategic Directions, Assessment and Accreditation, Jessica Miranda. Oh, please sit, thank you. We are fortunate to have with us today, from the UH Board of Regents, Dr. Bill Haining, UH West Oahu is grateful to the Board of Regents for its continued support of our campus. I would like to invite Regent Haining to the podium. Alina Mai, thank you Chancellor Benham and honored guests for this opportunity to answer a question that nobody has asked me today. Yes, I am wearing clothes beneath this robe. <laughs> I, I am Bill Haining. My standing before you is one of the most improbable events that you're likely to encounter today. I am a regent of the University of Hawaii system. The job of the regents of the University of Hawaii system is to assure the continuation of the University of Hawaii system and its mission of providing you the education you've sought. 
The job of any individual re regent at a graduation ceremony is to provide you encouragement to go do the next best thing in your lives. The other really important job of the regents is to assure the employment of chancellors as excellent as Dr. Benham in providing for your training needs. Background that will become more pertinent in a moment. I am a physician, an emeritus professor of medicine. I'm the president of my specialty's national professional group. I'm a retired Navy captain with extensive service among the Marines. And even more inexplicably, I am the husband of the immediate past director of health for the state of Hawaii. That may not have been her best decision, but it is too late and I am not giving her back. <laughs> now to the encouragement that I promise, because this is not where I expected to be. I am, I am a recovering alcoholic. I have been through three wars. I have had several body parts replaced and two strokes. And instead, I'm here with you, hoping to offer what was given to me by a professor and friend over three decades ago. In 1991, I was a uniformed active Navy physician working at Tripler Army Medical Center. And when a pre previous professor of mine, Dr. Jack McDermott, who was then the chair of psychiatry, invited me to take lunch with him. It was the Pacific Club, so I wasn't gonna turn him down. Y yes, and, and as we ate, he asked when I was going to stop doing general medicine. Now, his actual words were, Bill, when will you stop screwing around and come back to the university and take his residency in psychiatry? I responded, Jack, I have a good job now. I am sober. Your residency is, what, four years long? Well, I'm now 42 years old at that point. Do you understand how old I will be in four years if I take your residency? He responded, Bill, how old will you be in four years if you do not take my residency? It's the job of a good psychiatrist, and Jack was a great psychiatrist, to help a person see the problem differently. So I went back and completed the residency training. I would submit, I would submit that you went to all this trouble obtaining a degree for the one thing that having a degree actually justifies, and that's being of use to other people or being of use to yourselves, your friends, your colleagues. Whether it is raising a family or giving honest and good service running an enterprise, encouraging future students, or taking the next steps to a higher calling, that would be the opportunity to be of use. Oh, and the aforementioned wife, Dr. Kalani High School graduate, She's now a police commissioner, which impels my next piece of advice to the new graduates here, which is to choose your mates wisely. <laughs> Thank you for the opportunity and for the honor accorded me by being here. Thank you, Regent Haining. Now, our Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs, Jeffrey Moniz, will recognize the candidates for graduation with distinction and honor. The university is proud of those students who are graduating with distinction. Based on a four-point scale, these candidates have earned a minimum grade point average of 3.75 and have completed at least 30 credits at UH West Oahu. You will find the names of these outstanding students marked with a pu'el feather in your program. Will all those graduating with distinction and wearing a yellow stole Rise or raise your hand. Please remain standing. In addition, the graduating class includes several members who were selected for national honor societies, such as Alpha Phi Sigma, Alpha Delta Kappa, Golden Key International Honor Society, Kappa Delta Pi, 
National Society of Leadership and Success, Lambda Alpha, Psi Chi, Sigma Tau Delta. To symbolize this achievement, these students are adorned with cords of various colors, pins, or medallions. Will those students please rise or raise your hand? Remain standing. We would like to call upon those students who augmented their studies by participating in service learning. Those with a service learning red stole, please rise or raise your hand. Also remain standing. We would like to recognize those students who served in various capacities on our chartered student organizations, including the Associated Students of UH West Oahu, Campus Center Board, Student Media Board, and Student Activity Fee Board. Thank you for fostering our thriving student life. Please rise or raise your hand. May our candidates who completed their degrees via distance education and who have traveled from the neighbor islands or outside of the state to participate in today's ceremonies, please rise or raise your hand. <laughs> Last but certainly not least, we would like to recognize our ROTC graduates, student veterans, and current service members, and thank them for their service. For our veterans and service members, including those in the audience, please rise or raise your hand. To thank our veterans for their service, the red, white, and blue cords were funded this semester by the veteran faculty members of UH West Oahu, led by David Din from the Business Division. Audience, please join me in applauding all of these candidates for their accomplishments. Thank you. You may all be seated. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Moniz. Now, Interim Vice Chancellor for Student Affairs, Lokelani Kenolio, will introduce the first of our student speakers. Anthony McGill knows the meaning of grit, growth, and gratitude. The elementary education candidate started at West Oahu nine years ago, and this Pueo Awards honoree and Dean's List member will tell you about his journey today. Welcome, Anthony. I want to share some thoughts on a phrase. It is what it is. This phrase holds a deep meaning to me because life just doesn't go your way sometimes. It helped me to accept the situation for what it is and kept on moving forward. I am not a traditional student who took four years to graduate it took nine years for me to graduate. I had setbacks and struggles, but it took grit and determination to finish, but it was also filled with opportunity 
experience, and lessons that could never be replaced. Pool leadership was one of my first experiences at the University of Hawaii, West Oahu, where I had the opportunity to develop my leadership skills and grow as a person. Little did I know that this would be the beginning of my leadership journey. As a result, I created the International Student Club where you plan countless events for everyone to attend. One of my favorite memories was karaoke night with international students from South Korea and Japan where we sang our hearts out in different languages. They always made me go first and they soon discovered I wasn't the best singer but it is what it is. <laughs> I had the opportunity to work in the academic affairs office, working with faculty, professors, lecturers, and staff was an unexpected pleasure. What I quickly learned that they, too, are humans, <laughs> like students, they turn things in late. <laughs> they needed a couple of reminders. But their willingness to share their knowledge and go the extra mile to help students makes the workplace culture healthy and family-like. So when I faced adversity, I reached out for help and soon found that in our community, at UH West Oahu, people care about each other and they will help you. It is what it is. Eventually, I got into my elementary education program and I met professors, lecturers, and mentor teachers who played an invaluable role and shaping not only me, but collectively 32 aspiring elementary teachers. Your commitment to our education has instilled in us the importance of fostering learning in our future students. You have taught us not to impart knowledge, but to create a safe and supportive learning environment where students can thrive. Your patience, understanding, and encouragement have given us the confidence to pursue our dreams of becoming teachers. To be brutally honest, we weren't the best cohort. <laughs> Managing 32 of us was not an easy task, but you accepted us for who we are because it is what it is. Fellow graduates, why am I telling you this about all this experience, opportunities, and lessons? How does this relate to you? I want you to remember that you did not get to where you are today alone. You had the support of your family, friends, mentors, and teachers who helped you along the way. Take the time to thank them while they are still alive. Cherish the relationship you have built and reflect on the lessons you have learned with from them. As we commence this new chapter of our lives, I want to share a poignant quote from the boy, the mole, the fox, and the horse. When the boy and the horse found themselves lost in the woods, the horse asked the boy if he can see his next step. Though the boy admits he cannot see a way forward, he can identify his next step. 
This fable reminds us that even when we are uncertain about the future, we can always take the next steps forward. I didn't know when I was going to finish college, but I st still kept taking steps forward. It's okay to be uncertain, but we must focus and be intentional about our choices. And now I am here today. We are here today. We made it. As Simon Sinek once said, we can be the leaders we long for. We have the options to respond with compassion and poise in the face of adversity. Graduates, remember that you have the power to move ahead. Persevere. Acknowledge those who had aided you all along the path. Take the next step and become the leaders you aspire to be. At the end of the day, it is what it is. Mahalo, Anthony. Gabriel Gabby Navalta has done it all since arriving on our campus in 2020. He served as the Associated Students of the University of Hawaii West Oahu president and on the Student Media Board. He also worked at the Academy for Creative Media at UH West Oahu and, as, and is a member of the Phi Data Kappa International Honor Society. I can't imagine what the campus will be like without Gabby. Please join me in welcoming him to the stage. Aloha, my love, pa ho ho e. Aloha, love from La Pa Hoi Hoi. Friends, family, and fellow graduates. This is the beginning. First line of Oli for La Pa Hoi Hoi Community Public Charter School, the school that I graduated from on Hoi Island. I wanted to greet you all in this way because that starting line of the school chant represents and brings forth the spirit of the community I come from. On paper, my name is Gabriel Navalta, but for those of you who know me, you know that I go by Gabby. I come to you today as the first in my family to graduate with a bachelor's degree. <laughs> Filipino, first generation student, soon to be graduate. I'm grateful inspired and reflective. First of all, I'm grateful. Thank you to everybody here today who made the trip to celebrate us. On behalf of the graduating class, I would like to thank the entire UH West Oahu Ohana, various instructors, kumu, counselors, advisors, and staff for your full support in ensuring our success in college. I want to specifically thank Sharla, <laughs> Jeff, and the rest of my creative media fam, as well as folks, yes, sir, <laughs> as well as folks like Roel, Shu, Aubrey, and UH Wall Student Life members for adding to my college experience and helping me in the capacities of student assistant, student government officer, or in extracurricular activities. I'm grateful for my loving siblings and in-laws, Sister Loy, Manong James, and Manang Eileen, 
and my nephews and nieces, and of course, my Hanai chosen family sitting over there. You know who you are, yes you do, for your endless love, guidance, and aid in helping me become the person I am today. Secondly, I am inspired. I'm inspired by each and every one of you who are wearing a cap and gown today. Today is the day that many of us have been waiting for, an official seal to years of groaning, studying, presenting, and challenging ourselves intellectually. I'm not only inspired by the hard work that you have all done visibly, but also by the things unseen and that go unnoticed. Whatever the case may be, the journey of college was not just the hard work, it also encompasses the difficulties that we sometimes have no control over. But I'm inspired by you all for sticking it out to the very end. Speaking of the things unseen, I wanted to share mine with you today and bring them out from under. For a lengthy amount of time, I was completely lost being raised in a more conservative religious house. My siblings and I were all brought up the same, but I felt different. We were taught that a loving relationship should only be between a woman and a man, and again, I felt different. But I was too scared to show these true colors, so I stayed for a long time comfortable. This all changed after COVID-19. In the midst of pandemic craziness and worldwide shutdown, I could not keep my feelings in, so I brought up what was under. Unfortunately, this was met with opposition rather than the support I thought was deserved from mom and dad. I had to leave the family home. And if it wasn't for my manong and my manong who could understand me and took me in, I would have been homeless. I took months to a year after this blow up to reset and evaluate what was going on and also what I really needed and wanted out of life. But once the smoke dissipated, things were more clear to me on what needed to be done. My sister Lloyd shared with me that when things seem to be getting harder in life, you are ready to level up. Level up. I leaned heavily on pillars of support that came in the same two siblings I talked about, colleagues and coworkers at the multiple part-time jobs I worked at just to make ends meet, and lastly, my resources at UH West, who was able to meet with me virtually, whether it be for class assistance or online therapy, level up. A little over a year after the falling out, I was able to move over here to Oahu from Hawaii Island to start anew. And being new to the island, I got to merge interests with friends through volleyball. And as a newer face on campus, I made even more connections after joining student government and other student life, chartered student organizations and resos. Level up. Reflecting on everything that has transpired in the matter of just the last three years to today's celebration of graduation, I've got to say that the biggest level up is having people in my life, like my chosen family. My colleagues and classmates at the Academy for Creative Media and UH West Oahu, and my boyfriend, Ryan, who accepts me for who I am as a queer identifying individual with the people in my life who go all of their way to support me and the things I'd like to accomplish. And beyond these stoles and cords and lay, to honor, to symbolize visible achievements, I can bring out from under another symbol of who I am genuinely without hesitance. Level up. My story is just one of many that can be told when we look back at our college experience, 
we all were constantly finding our place in the world or creating it despite the difficulties that come with living. You have preserved through it all. Or maybe you have changed, transformed yourself into someone you are more happy to see in the mirror. You have demonstrated grit and determination, just as Anthony said, to reach your goal of getting a degree. So on that, to the traditional and non-traditional students, single mothers and fathers, parents, and those independent from your parents too. To those returning to school as an older adult or working full time or multiple jobs while still juggling school. To those new to Hawaii or returning. To those who have and are still going through personal tragedies and health crises. Congratulations. We're Powell and we really did that. Remember to be grateful for and inspired by the people around you every day. Remember to also be grateful and inspired by your own story. Take the lessons learned from your life experiences, cautious steps to level up, and trust yourself in the process. These will serve you well. With this chapter of your life closing and the next one opening, let's love more. Try new things out. Figure out your best pathways and journeys. And traverse this road being the most authentic you, you can be. Thank you. Thank you, Anthony and Gabby, and thank you for sharing your inspirational stories with us. Now, UH West O'ahu Faculty Senate Chair Kailani Akamine will give the final salutation to the graduates on behalf of the faculty. Aloha kako, graduates, honored guests, faculty, staff, and administrators, it is an exceptional day today because we're here to be able to celebrate the hard-earned accomplishments of our beloved graduates from 2020, 2021, 2022, and 2023. We would like to pay homage to all of our new UH West Oahu family and friends out there for all of your efforts supporting our graduates on this arduous yet rewarding journey. Before we say a hui ho, or until we meet again, and we each go on our separate ways, I would like to gift you with something that has been gifted to me from my beloved colleague, Dr. Manulani Meyer. Awamo kuleana. Awamo kuleana. This is an understanding that collective transformation can happen through individual excellence. Awamo Kuliana transformation happens through individual excellence. An important and essential understanding that what we do impacts others. What you do matters. There is a direct impact in and on our communities. So when you get out there, put the mana in your hana. Everyone has mana. Keep it present in your hana, anything that you do. Embrace who you are and amplify the beloved community that you have all helped to create here at UH West Oahu. Amplify this in all of your communities and in our global community. Continue to dream your big dreams. The state of Hawaii and our global community really need your contributions, your dreams, your expertise, your vantage points, and most importantly, your aloha. Aloha in the truest sense, in the truest essence and form 
of what this word was meant to bring to the world. I am truly humbled that this homegrown Teta has the privilege of saying, on behalf of the University of Hawaii at West Oahu, Hulo, we congratulate you. We commend you, class of 2020, 2021, 2022, and 2023. It has been an honor and a privilege to be a part of your educational journey. Mahalo nui. Thank you, Chair Akamine. We will now proceed with the awarding of academic degrees and certificates. I would like to call Drs. Lokelani Kenolio, Jan Javanar, and Robin Tasaka from Student Affairs to the podium to present the candidates for degrees and certificates. Well, Chancellor Benham, Vice Chancellor Moniz, Business Division Chair Linda Randall, and Regent Haining, please come to the stage as part of the reception line. And will our faculty marshals, Catherine Amer, Monique Miranesco, and Eli Tsukayama, please come forward to assist. Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Arts in Business Administration, Bachelor of Science in Cybersecurity, and Bachelor of Applied Science degrees please come forward? Edward Crawwell, Concentration in Business Administration Management. Hannah Tamayo, Management and Certificate in Asian Studies. Karen Vestacion. Concentration in Hospitality and Tourism. Gina Antoinette Parr, Concentration in General Business Administration. Christiana Weiss. Concentration in Hospitality and Tourism. Tricia Balcher, Concentration in Management. Lorianne Soon, Concentration, General Business Administration. Jara Marie Rivera, Concentration Accounting. Cherish Segura, Concentration Marketing. Rodeline Ann Tangonan, Concentration Accounting and Finance. Sean Fukuno, Concentration Finance with Distinction. Mackenzie Crawley, Concentration Accounting. Congratulations. Samantha Hall, 
concentration, management. Yes, congratulations. Simon Huang, concentration, accounting. Sierra Nevis, concentration, accounting. Nohea Bachelor, Concentration, Hospitality and Tourism. Ryan Justin Piano, Concentration, Accounting. Margaret Butenheis. Concentration in General Business Administration with Distinction. James Vistacion, Concentration in Accounting. Elia Jimenez, Concentration in General Business Administration. Asia Lynn Sabato, Concentration in Management. Brian Baraga, Brian Baraga, Concentration in Finance. Kelina Ramos, Concentration in Marketing with Distinction. Jessica Chun, Concentration in Accounting. Lindsay Tabinga, Concentration in Finance. Marissa Dalikan, Concentration in Accounting. Jonathan Takahashi, Concentration in Marketing. Straight across. Cassidy Serrano, Concentration in Management. Thank you. Hannah May Raval, Concentration in Hospitality and Tourism. Lindsay Govea, Concentration in Management with Distinction. Jeannie Gabes. Nia Jeannie Gabes, Concentration in Marketing. Kelia Belifu, Concentration in Hospitality and Tourism. Florian Farianes, Concentration in Accounting. Natalie Kai Obian, Concentration in Management. Destiny Choi, Concentration in General Business Administration. Caitlin Hao Magno, Concentration in Management and Marketing with Distinction. Emiko Moriyama, Concentration in Management. Ryan Paolo, Concentration in Information Security and Assurance. Congratulations. 
Ali Solomon, Concentration in General Business Administration. Congratulations. Nina Pandaya, Concentration in Cyber Operations with Distinction. Glennis Brasher, Concentration in Management. Alexia Saroyama, Concentration in Management and Marketing. Guy Nguyen Fok, Concentration in Cyber Information. Rexen Abraham, Concentration in Hospitality and Tourism. Aaron Hashimoto, Concentration in Management. Thank you. Gavin Hayola Geltes, Concentration in Management. Sinaza Rolls, Concentration in Management. Congratulations. Mickey Law, Concentration in Accounting with Distinction. Congratulations. Giovanni Noel Del Rosario, Concentration in Management. Wesley Motley, Concentration in Accounting. Congratulations. Jared Miyasato, Concentration in General Business Administration. Michael Kazaya Andres, Concentration in Management. Janessa Jaswan, Concentration in Accounting with Distinction. Lorena Valido, Concentration in Accounting with Distinction. Tristan Lafora, Concentration in Finance. Casey Calypto, Concentration in Finance. Selena Angeles, Concentration in General Business Administration. Amberly Hao, Concentration in Management. Connor Takiguchi, Concentration in Accounting and Finance with Distinction. Congratulations. Brent Nashiro, Concentration in Marketing with Distinction. Desta Rudolph, Concentration in Management. Gavin Philip Zamora, Concentration in Management. Naomi Monica Malakas, Concentration in Management with Distinction. Alyssa Joyce Fagaran, Concentration in Accounting. Jeremy Desumala, Concentration in Accounting. Yeah. 
Alexis Turner, Concentration in Management. Congratulations. Taito Yoshikawa, Concentration in Hospitality and Tourism. Congratulations. Lacey Yasuda, Concentration in General Business Administration with Distinction. Jarrell Karbalak, Concentration in Accounting. Congratulations. Jonathan Arantan, Concentration in Finance with Distinction. Ezra Washburn, Concentration in General Business Administration. Congratulations. Catherine Sagad, Concentration in Hospitality and Tourism. Congratulations. Kayla Tanaka, Concentration in Hospitality and Tourism and Management. Michael Wen, Concentration in Marketing with Distinction. Congratulations. Alba Williams, Concentration in Accounting. Jean Navarro, Concentration in Accounting. Casey Nakamura, Concentration in Management with Distinction. Congratulations. Alexis Yadal, Concentration in Accounting. Congratulations. Sierra Abley, Concentration in Management with Distinction. Alyssa Shudo, Concentration in Accounting with Distinction. Sean Miyashiro, Concentration in General Business Administration. Thank you. Krishana Mendonka, Concentration in Management. Brandon Kawikama, Concentration in Accounting. Congratulations. Dwayne Pollicott, Concentration in Hospitality and Tourism. Congratulations. Leilani Fuenes. Concentration in Economics with Distinction and Concentration in Marketing with Distinction. Ariel Dixon, Concentration in Accounting with Distinction. Marie and Aslan. Concentration in Information Security and Assurance. Amy McDivitt, Concentration in Health Professions. Derek Payne, Concentration in Information Security and Assurance. Zachary Ramos, Concentration in Information Security and Assurance. Congratulations. <laughs> Micah Alofaituli, Concentration in Information Security and Assurance. Yeah. 
Kayla Cochola Tom, Hawaiian and Indigenous Health and Healing. Irene Ruby Nasquez, Concentration in Health Information Management. Antonio Wells, Concentration in Information Security and Assurance with Distinction. Congratulations. Casey Kuwata, Concentration in Information Security and Assurance. Congratulations. Bryson Baggio, Concentration in Information Technology. Jacob Chivas Topino, Concentration in Information Security and Assurance. Kaikoa Viverios, Concentration in Information Security and Assurance. Congratulations. Christopher Krokel, Concentration in Information Security and Assurance. Congratulations. Good to see you. Kahil Lani Iwamoto Palencia, Concentration in Management with Distinction. <laughs> Hayden Chris Bonilla, Concentration in Finance with Distinction. Good job, buddy. Devin Sogram. Concentration in Accounting and Finance with Distinction. Congratulations. Congratulations, Business Administration, Cybersecurity, and Applied Science candidates. Please be seated. We welcome now the candidates for the Bachelor of Arts in Creative Media degree. And may I ask Sharla Hanaoka, UH West Oahu Academy for Creative Media Director, to please join the reception line. Oh, sorry, I didn't see you. <laughs> Gabriel Gabby Navalta, Concentration in Creative Media with Distinction. Lawrence O'Brien Jr., Concentration in Communications and New Media Technologies with Distinction. Yeah. Daphne Asenas, Concentration in General Creative Media. <laughs> Hannah Clark. Concentration in General Creative Media. Eliana Greco, Concentration in General Creative Media. Courtney Kiamzon, Concentration in General Creative Media. Jordan Ballesteros, Concentration in Creative Media. Isabel Coloma, Concentration in Design and Media with Distinction. Keana Ramiscal, Concentration in General Creative Media with Distinction. Rina Osedo, Concentration in General Creative Media with Distinction. <laughs> 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 
Hannah Eslava, Concentration in General Creative Media. Araceles Cervantes Oyadomari, Concentration in General Creative Media with Distinction. Travis Foster, Concentration in Video Game Design and Development. Montague Kalilikane II, Concentration in Communications and New Media Technologies. Aina Peppa Jr., Concentration in Communications and New Media Technologies. Kylie Kameoka, Concentration in Creative Media. Carlina Scott Boyd, Concentration in Communications and New Media Technologies. Adam Akiu, Concentration in Communications and New Media Technologies. Nicole LaQuesta, Concentration in Design and Media. Justin Ray Durupan, Concentration in General Creative Media. Shayna Hess, Concentration in General Creative Media. Brent Kialoha Hutchinson, Concentration in General Creative Media. Benjamin Duong, Concentration in General Creative Media. Congratulations, Creative Media candidates. We present next the candidates for the Bachelor of Arts degree in Humanities and have on stage Dr. Keolani Cook, Division Chair for the Humanities Division. Lena Ala Kahili Salausa, Concentration in Hawaiian Pacific Studies with Distinction. Lei Ala Okuda, Concentration in Hawaiian Pacific Studies with Distinction. Wow. Leana Marie Alejado, Concentration in Hawaiian Pacific Studies with Distinction. Wow. Elaine Gonzalez, Concentration in English. Jaslyn Puaoi, Concentration in Creative Media. Ethan Garrido, Concentration in English. Justin Michael De Los Rios, Concentration in Mathematics. Jalen Choi, Concentration in History and a Certificate in Asian Studies. Wow. 
Nicole Dakui Kui, concentration in English and a certificate in Asian Studies. Robert Limos, the second, concentration in history. Thomas Kanemaru, concentration in English. Congratulations, humanities candidates. Welcoming next the candidates for the Bachelor of Applied Science degree with concentrations in Health Information Management, Health Professions, and Hawaiian and Indigenous Health and Healing. And on stage, Dr. Esther Widiasi, Division Chair for Math, Natural, and Health Sciences. Kylie Garcia, concentration in health professions with a certificate in Hawaiian and indigenous health and healing with distinction. Serena Paloma Kasum, concentration in health professions. Emily Jeannie Maluyo, <laughs> Bachelor of Applied Science in Health Information Management with distinction, and a Bachelor of Arts in Public Administration with a concentration in Healthcare Administration and a Certificate in Healthcare Administration with distinction. Erin Grace Ortiguero, concentration in health professions with distinction. Congratulations, applied science candidates. Presenting next, the candidates for the Bachelor of Education degree and on stage, UH West Oahu Division Chair, Dr. Mary Heller. Anthony Miguel, concentration in elementary education and a certificate in Asian studies. <laughs> Ashley April Medrano, concentration in elementary education. Shaina May Paklev, concentration in elementary education with distinction. <laughs> Kaylin Estrada Powell, concentration in elementary education with distinction. Erica Rios, concentration in elementary education. Patricia Lum, concentration in elementary education. Genesis Kabwan, concentration in elementary education. Heather Awana, concentration in elementary education with distinction. Marie, Marine Mayjoy Bali, concentration in elementary education with distinction. Marky Belmodes, concentration in elementary education. Jessica Peralta Sumoba, concentration in elementary education with distinction.
Jarexa Montoya, Concentration in Elementary Education. Alana Rivers, Concentration in Elementary Education with Distinction. Sydney Kurihara, Concentration in Elementary Education. Carly Kawai, Concentration in Elementary Education. Carrie Ann Yasuda, Concentration in Elementary Education with Distinction. Erin Sugiyama, Concentration in Elementary Education with Distinction. Alyssa Oshiro, Concentration in Elementary Education. Maya Divera, Concentration in Elementary Education. Nakita Valdez, Concentration in Elementary Education with Distinction. Elisa Manuel, Concentration in Elementary Education. Myla English, Concentration in Elementary Education with Distinction. Trisha May Guillermo, Concentration in Elementary Education with Distinction. Ran Lee, Concentration in Elementary Education. Victoria Tiara Cachuela, Concentration in Elementary Education. Joanna Marie Jacinto, Concentration in Elementary Education. Victoria Hamasaki, Concentration in Elementary Education. Jennifer Padasdao, Concentration in Elementary Education. Lea Lynn Balisakan, Concentration in Elementary Education. Destiny Ashley Agas, Concentration in Elementary Education with Distinction. Sky De La Cruz, Concentration in Elementary Education with Distinction. Gabriel Lucas, Concentration in Elementary Education with Distinction. Sky Yasuda, Concentration in Elementary Education with Distinction. Emily Sean, Concentration in Elementary Education. Aurelia Hart, Concentration in Elementary Education. Alexis Nihipali, Concentration in Elementary Education. Kai Arakawa, Concentration in Secondary Education, Social Studies. Barbara Marie Mindoro, Concentration in Secondary Education, Social Studies with Distinction.
Kelsha Hernandez, concentration in secondary education, social studies. <laughs> Stephanie Redona, concentration in secondary education, social studies. Shana De Guzman, concentration in secondary education, social studies. Lena Galicha, concentration in secondary education, mathematics with distinction. Okay. Sarah Duggan, bachelor of education in secondary English with distinction and a Bachelor of Arts in Humanities in English with distinction. Remelin Fagela, Bachelor of Education in Secondary English as well as a Bachelor of Arts in Humanities in English. Christian Ray Domingo, Bachelor of Education in Secondary English with Distinction and a Bachelor of Arts in Humanities in English with Distinction. Sherry Matsumura, Bachelor of Education in Secondary English and a Bachelor of Arts in Humanities, Concentration in English. Amanda Machado Vinano, concentration in secondary social studies. Heaven Medrano Santiago, Bachelor of Education in Secondary English, Secondary Education, excuse me, and a Bachelor of Arts in Humanities, concentration in English. Darcy Shioji, concentration in secondary ed education with distinction. Lichel Joshia Ugaude, concentration in secondary education. Congratulations, education candidates. We welcome the candidates for the Bachelor of Arts in Public Administration. And will the Division Chair for Public Administration, Dr. Christina Liu, please join the reception line. Candy Matautia, Public Administration, Concentration in General Public Administration. Monica Iwohi Makiakao, Public Administration, Certificate in Disaster Preparedness and Emergency Management. Britton Wabinga, Public Administration, Concentration in Disaster Preparedness and Emergency Management. Michelle Koholua, Public Administration, Concentration in Justice Administration. Kirsten May Bacaltos, Public Administration, Concentration in Healthcare Administration. Kirsten Leonio Kuomo'o, Public Administration, Concentration in Healthcare Administration. Marie Chris Pataxio, Public Administration, Concentration in Healthcare Administration. Stephanie Anger, Public Administration, Concentration in Healthcare Administration. Aliyah Sharice Bruno, Public Administration, 
concentration in healthcare administration, certificate in healthcare administration with distinction. Kyla Alexander, Public Administration, Concentration in Community Health. Nicole Francis, Applied Science, Concentration in Respiratory Care. Misha Albano, Public Administration, Concentration in Justice Administration. Austin Bonsilao, Public Administration, Concentration in Healthcare Administration. Jasmine Piena, Public Administration, Concentration in General Public Administration, Certificate in Disaster Preparedness and Emergency Management. Selena Supapo, Concentration in Healthcare Administration. Sarah Brown, Concentration in Healthcare Administration with Distinction. Jolie Augustine, Concentration in Disaster Preparedness and Emergency Management and Healthcare Administration. Darian Gonzalez, Concentration in Healthcare Administration. Brian Kalpuiki, Concentration in Respiratory Care with Distinction. Taylan Ibalarosa, Concentration in Healthcare Administration. Nicole Stephanie Dugimal, Concentration in Healthcare Administration. Chantel Visaya, Concentration in Healthcare Administration, Certificate in Healthcare Administration. Lisa Tongalin, Concentration in Healthcare Administration. Christy Tozon, Concentration in Justice Administration. Angelique Anderson, Concentration in Healthcare Administration. Sabrina Park, Concentration in Healthcare Administration. Nathan Barboza, Concentration in Disaster Preparedness and Emergency Management and Healthcare Administration with Distinction. Matthew Joseph De Los Reyes, Concentration in Healthcare Administration. Michelle Javier, Concentration in Healthcare Administration. Galen Sagadraka, Concentration in Healthcare Administration. Kyra Spencer, Concentration in Healthcare Administration. Lealoha Tumbaga, Concentration in Justice Administration, Certificate in Music. Cherry Lynn Beltran, Concentration in Justice Administration with Distinction.
Amanda Camp, Concentration in Disaster Preparedness and Emergency Management with Distinction. Alyssa Enomoto, Concentration in Healthcare Administration. Kimberly Amber Serna, Concentration in Healthcare Administration with Distinction. Kelis Diaz, Concentration in Healthcare Administration. April Joy Yap, Concentration in Justice Administration with Distinction. Patrick Gill Pua, Concentration in Justice Administration, Certificate in Labor Studies with Distinction. Aubrey Schmidt, Concentration in Justice Administration. Nadine Alexandria Casabar, Concentration in Justice Administration. Sydney Warren, Concentration in Healthcare Administration with Distinction. Samantha Delgado, Concentration in Healthcare Administration with Distinction. <laughs> Guinevere Neff, Concentration in Justice Administration. Heidi Marquardt, Concentration in Healthcare Administration with Distinction. Ria Salas, Concentration in Community Health with Distinction. Tierney Ao, Concentration in Community Health with Distinction. Kenneth Neal, Concentration in Disaster Preparedness and Emergency Management Certificate in Disaster Preparedness and Emergency Management. Kiri Hirota, Concentrations in Community Health and Healthcare Administration with Distinction. Honey May Kuraming, Concentration in Healthcare Administration. Janaya Santos, Concentration in Healthcare Administration with Distinction. Arthur Dalset, Concentration in Disaster Preparedness and Emergency Management. Marie Villarreal, Concentration in Disaster Preparedness and Emergency Management with Distinction. Congratulations, Public Administration candidates. We welcome the candidates for the Bachelor of Arts in Social Sciences and call on Division Chair for Social Sciences, Dr. Orlando Garcia Santiago to join the reception line. Precious May Eligio, Concentration in Psychology and Sociology, Certificate in Music with Distinction. Andrea Alexander, Concentration in Sociology with Distinction.
Keenan Echo, Concentration in Political Science. William Evangelista, Concentration in Psychology. Sabrina Sunga, Concentration in Political Science. Tiffany Kia, Concentration in Psychology. Shannon Taylor Sabato, Concentration in Sociology. Caitlin Kaneshiro, Concentration in Sociology. Jemima Bautista, Concentration in Psychology. Matthew Makaspak, Concentration in Psychology. Keona Eliana Mora, Concentration in Psychology. Giovanni Axon, Concentration in Psychology, Certificate in Substance Abuse and Addiction Studies, with distinction. <laughs> Caleb Barney, Concentration in Anthropology. <laughs> Ashley King, Concentration in Psychology. Alicia Grant, Concentration in Psychology. <laughs> Dean Kaya, Concentration in Psychology. <laughs> Matthew Morehouse, Concentration in Psychology. Paige Pagaduan, Concentration in Psychology. <laughs> Jessica Kiskino, Concentration in Psychology. <laughs> Kaylin Ann Grace, Concentration in Psychology. Ashley Sardinia, Concentration in Psychology. Janelle Visitacion, Concentration in Psychology. Anela Lani Cervantes, Concentration in Psychology. Natasha Malalai, Concentration in Anthropology. Jordan Bjor, Concentration in Psychology. Matthew Carlson, Concentration in Psychology. Winnie Wan, Concentration in Sociology. <laughs> Leah Francine Akawili, Concentration in Psychology. Julie Rose Orden, Concentration in Psychology, Certificate in Asian Studies, with distinction. Woo! 
Sarah Hoag, Concentration in Psychology with Distinction. Elizabeth Pavlicek, Concentration in Psychology with Distinction. Shelby Nakano, Concentration in Sociology. Tyra Sumili, Concentration in Psychology. Jadlin Akamine, Concentration in Anthropology, Certificate in Applied Forensic Anthropology. Kelsey Brickwood, Concentration in Psychology. Kaipo Fujihara, Concentrations in Psychology and Sociology. Benjamin Aglugub, Concentration in Psychology, Certificate in Asian Studies. Travis Mina, Concentration in Political Science. Alyssa Alejandro, Concentration in Sociology. Caitlin Cowart, Concentration in Psychology with Distinction. Noah Cameron Castillo, Concentration in Psychology with Distinction. Aleli May Agbayani, Concentration in Psychology. Alona Rose Tugawin, Concentration in Psychology with Distinction. Ma Cristina Viloso, Concentration in Psychology. Casey Rivera, Concentration in Psychology with Distinction. Sharla Foster, Concentration in Psychology. Allison Tyra, Concentration in Early Childhood Education. Tira Barreto, Concentration in Early Childhood Education. Drew Higashihara, Concentration in Psychology. Taylor Pickett, Concentration in Psychology. Marin Char, Concentration in Psychology with Distinction. Vernal Villa Hashimoto, Concentration in Sustainable Community Food Systems. Algreg Bumanglog Jr., Concentration in Sustainable Community Food Systems. Caitlin Shimizu, Concentration in Sustainable Community Food Systems. Jody Kavika Kahiapo, Concentration in Sustainable Community Food Systems with Distinction. John Stremel, Bachelor of Arts in Humanities, Concentration in Film, Media, and Pop Culture.
Congratulations, Bachelor of Arts in Social Sciences candidates. You may be seated and our administrators may return to their seats. However, may I ask Chancellor Benham and Vice Chancellor Moniz back to the podium and will our faculty marshals, Drs. Eli Sukayama, Catherine Almer, and Monique Mironesco, please take your position at front center stage. The faculty commencement marshal is a duty and distinction. Our faculty marshals were selected because of their significant achievements this year. Dr. Sukayama was recently selected as the recipient of the 2023 Regents Medal for Excellence in Teaching. <laughs> Dr. Amer received the 2023 Francis Davis Award for Excellence in Undergraduate Teaching. And Dr. Miranesco was the selection for the University of Hawaii West Oahu Laulima Teaching Innovation Award. Congratulations to all of our faculty marshals and mahalo for your contributions to our campus. Will all the candidates for the Bachelor of Arts in Business Administration, Bachelor of Applied Science, Bachelor of Arts in Creative Media, Bachelor of Science in Cybersecurity, Bachelor of Education, Bachelor of Arts in Humanities, Bachelor of Science in Natural Sciences, Bachelor of Arts in Public Administration, the Bachelor of Arts in Social Sciences, as well as the students who are candidates for certificates, please rise. <laughs> Chancellor Benham. It gives me great pleasure to present to you these candidates. They have completed their prescribed courses of study and are recommended by the faculty for the award of the appropriate degrees and certificates. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents and the State of Hawaii, I hereby confer upon you the degrees and certificates to which you are entitled. Graduates, this is a very important symbolic rite of passage from student to graduate. Keep your eyes on the faculty marshals who will guide you through the symbolic transition from candidates for a degree or certificate to holder of a degree or certificate. With your marshals as your guide, you will now move the tassel on your motorboards from right to left. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the University of Hawaii Spring 2023 class and honor the 2020, 2021, and 2022 graduates who are celebrating their great accomplishments today. Congratulations, University of Hawaii West Oahu graduates. Thank you, Chancellor Benham. Please remain standing, our graduates. Ladies and gentlemen, this brings our commencement to a close. You may greet your graduates at the Les Murakami Stadium. Please exit the Stan Sheriff Center and follow the directions of the ushers and UH West Oahu ambassadors to give your graduates lay and gift. To view, today, to view today's commencement ceremony online, 
please visit our website at westoahu.hawaii.edu. Thank you again for coming and congratulations.